Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to an M21 traditional draft. Traditional draft. We've been sitting in this queue for six minutes. People don't like traditional drafts, unfortunately, but what can you do? That's life. So ideally, we don't have to wait for five minutes. But I'll pause it until it fires so you guys don't have to wait with us. Eight minutes later, it finally fired. So, here we are. Let's do it. Get in that queue. Nine lives. That's trash. Why does it always make it so small? Uh, yeah, run a foul. Sacrifice group to flying. Gnarled Sage is alright. There's a shock. Dude, I really like Library Larcenist, though. The ob Actually, if you get to play this guy and put, like, one of the, the floaty boys on, it's pretty sweet. I do like Face Fetters a lot. I'm going to take Face Fetters. It's solid removal. Nope, that's way too much text for a red rare. A shipwreck dowser seems pretty sweet. How many frantic inventories do you think we can get? Oh, I like I like obsessive stitcher. I think Basri's acolyte's pretty good. Acolyte's real good, right? Oh, dang, it's a three-three prowess for five that gets an instant or sorcery back. Like that's pretty good. Legion's Judgment also no slouch. Kills big things, which is... I think it's... It's definitely one of these three. These these are solid choices. I mean, it might not be worth going into blue just for the Dowser. I think we take the Acolyte. Yeah, I think Acolyte's pretty insane. Uh, Whenever you gain life, put that many... Nope. Sanctum. It's an epic creature. This costs one less for each shrine you control. If you're in one color, you're going to have one shrine. So this is going to cost five mana to tap a creature. Not ideal. Eh, Daybreak Charger's fine. Steed is is good. I do like Steed. Another frantic inventory. This is not a sky. This is a witch's cauldron. <laughs> not the same. I kind of want to take frantic inventory. And see how many we can get. I'm going to do it. I kind of like blue-white too. So, Oh, and look at it. We get rewarded with all these good blue cards. Actually, this card's not bad. There's a tutelage. Guys, we're doing the tutelage again? Oh, man. <sighs> tutelage frantic inventory. There's no good white cards. Like, this card's fine. I'm doing it. This is... We have to try to live this dream every time it's, it's possible to live it. <sighs> eh. Capture Sphere seems fine. Read the Tide seems fine. It's definitely one of these two. I mean, Capture Spear is just removal, right? We'll just take removal. Frost Breath, Golem. Eh. Two, three for three that taps the guy? Yeah, I'm, I'm about it. Oh, Watcher of the Spheres. That's actually pretty sweet. What if that frantic inventory comes back? That was amazing. Lar Library Larcenist. Oh, Griffin Airy. I don't think we're getting three at, at any kind of consistent interval here. I'll just take Larcenist. Which I wanted to take in the beginning anyway. Nine lives came back. Come on, frantic inventory. Or even the five drop. That five drop would be bonkers to come back. <laughs> frantic inventory came back to me. Also, frantic inventory with tutelage. Draw one. Draw two. Draw three. 
mill two, four, six. Mm, nah. Like, even if we have both shrines, the blue and the white shrine, this still it costs four mana to tap a creature. Like, might just be Swiftwater Cliffs. Hmm. Eh, I'll take a cancel. I'll take two drop. Again, that's how much I hate that shrine. Lofty Denial actually seems decent. Spark Hunter Masticore is actually trash and limited. Pro Planeswalkers? Who's even got the time, man? Tide Skimmer is pretty nice, though. Tagging with two more floats. Shipwreck Dows are not as important. We don't have a ton of instants or sorceries yet, except for, like, Frantic Inventory, which we want in the graveyard anyway. Yeah, I'm taking the Tide Skimmer. I do like, I do like a Talarian Kraken. Uh, Swift Response actually seems probably better, right? This art is great. Like, I love these, I love these, like, 3D shifting cards. Um, yeah, I think this is probably better. I mean, ideally, we get two more tutelages. Two more toots. Rune Halo. Fascinating. Falconer Adept. Whenever it attacks, create a 1 1 bird with flying that's tapped and attacking. Deal. Falconer Adept is great. Especially if it's clear. Is the coast clear? A lot of four drops, though. Speaker. This actually has a bunch of good stuff in it. We have a Speaker of the Heavens, which I don't think we're going to ever have seven more life. Although we do have these two. Uh, Light of Promise, kind of trash. Waker of Waves, I think, is actually pretty sweet. It's a 7-7 seven, seven, uh, when you need it to be, but also it's just an anticipate when you don't. Um, this is actually what I think Rousing Reed is what we're looking at. Rousing Reed is actually really good for our deck because it works on Library Larcenist uh, and Falconer Adept. And it also triggers Tide Skimmer. It triggers uh, Lofty Denial. Yeah, Rousing Reed is like the way to go here. And I will definitely take any other Rousing Reeds you want to pass my way. Yeah, there's another Kraken. I kind of like having the, like, just having a mutt. I don't think we need another capture sphere. I think I like just having one. Is Lofty Nile just better? I don't know. I'm going to take the mutt. I don't hate Tranquil Cove. Ten creatures you control getting plus one plus O for an O three. It's not terrible. Blocks things. Yeah, I'll take the wall. Oh, uh, that guy's pretty good. Yeah, I'll take the King Glide Master. We have two drops and giving our creatures flying again triggers things like Tide Skimmer and Falconer Adept and Library Larcenist. That see, that's a second side. I'm just taking a charger here. Teferi's protege, probably better than the second enforcer. 
Yeah, the Kraken did come back. Ruined Halo came back. That's interesting. I'll take a spine megalodon. Got one six drop, one seven drop. Most of these last picks, Prismite's kind of kind of poop comparatively now. I'm not super sold on that. Wow, Lofty Nail came back. That's pretty wild. Tefri's tutelage is going in the sideboard until we can hit another one. One day, I promise, I will hit multiple Teferi's tutelages. I don't know if it'll be today. But one day. Oh, Pursued Whale. 5, five, five 8, 8 for 7. They make a 1-1 one, one pirate. This creature can't block and creature control attack each combat of fable spells your opponents. Cast the target, it costs 3 more. Is that... <gasps> oh, we're just getting to tutelage, right? I was all excited about the whale, but then I was like, oh, tutelage. <sighs> Guys, we're living that tutelage dream. Yeah, now Teferi's protege was a good pickup. Tempered Veteran seems great. Might just be... Actually, it might be Concordia Pegasus. Six mana for this is a lot, but I guess it could... I actually think it is Pegasus, ironically. Like, it's a, it's a flyer. It's a 1-3 that blocks all of the 2-2s. Two Another Swift Response is pretty nice. Bird, cat, goat, ox, or snake. That's a bird. That's a merfolk. That's a unicorn. That's a pegasus. Okay, well, we tried. Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to take another swift response. Oh, Mistral Singer is nice. Again, it goes with our flying theme. Unsubstantiate is pretty decent. Probably better than a second capture sphere. Wish coin crab, you're fine. I don't think we're taking a third Library Larcenist. This is actually a pretty banging pack. Volcanic Geyser and Grasp. I'll just take Geyser here. Well, well, well. <laughs> it isn't the consequences of my own actions. Another Megalodon? God dang. Yeah, I'm going to take this thing. Remember when I didn't take that Basri that one time and then it came back and my opponent... Killed me with Basri. That was cool. Well, that was, that was pretty. That was pretty sweet. Um, Glide Master is probably the pick here. I don't think it's another Enforcer. I think I'd rather just have another two drop just in case. Whatever. I'll take the stupid Sanctum. 
If that's what you really want. Oh, wow, Legion Judgment. Okay. I don't think we need more three drop creatures. I wish we got another Rousing Reed. Just watch one on YouTube. What did you watch? All right, then keep your secrets. Oh, Triangle Cove. The whale did not come back, unfortunately. Oh, the Basri draft. Oh, yeah, that was beautiful. <laughs> I mean, we did well outside of that. Okay, 44 cards. We need several cuts. I do like all of the. All of these are good. You're good, you're good. You're 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 good especially with the double tutelage, protege, rousing read, mistral singer, sure. It might just be these two. Although I really do like spine megadon, megalodon. Pegasus charger might might like charger just doesn't fit our deck, I don't think. How many creatures we got right now? 12? Oh, that's low. Take a lofty out. I think this is probably good. Like, we have Face Fetters, Capture Sphere, um, Celestial Enforcer to tap, Legion's Judgment, Lofty Denial, Double Swift Response. Like, this is actually a lot. 8-8 eight, eight in Tranquil Cove? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what happens. This looks like a pretty decent keep. Just got better. Oh man, creature flying costs one less too? Good grief, man. It's too good. Too good. Get him. Oh, okay. I see. All right, all right, then. Keep your secrets. I almost wish we played this this turn and played like a three drop last turn. Because now we can only play one thing. Um, but then we'd be able to play two drop and keep up two drop here. I guess we could just play our own Valkyner. Yeah, that seems pretty decent. Yeah, that mono white life deck was pretty fun. Yeah. I should have just taken two there. That was stupid. That was actually terrible. I wish we had a land there. Then we can play skimmer. Um, actually, play this, try to hit a land. Good at this game. We're good at the game. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. I see. 
You're just gonna be gaggling us, huh? Okay. Got him! Our deck is sweet. Um, yep, keep this one too. You got it. blocks. Oh, it's got a little phallid. Is this the pick, or is this one of these the picks? I think it might just be the one, two blocks here. Next time we can attack, play tutelage, trigger it. I don't know if that's any good. I think even two tutelages might... Like, we keep drafting these blue-white decks with tutelage, and I'm just like, this deck is just great, and like, it's better without the tutelage. <laughs> I'm gonna go for it though, because I think we need to try this tutelage. Uh, oh, frantic inventory. Okay. What can men do against such reckless hate? <laughs> There's nothing. The answer is nothing. I might just block here. Like, I'm not in a position where I can activate this ability, but giving them a 1 1 instead of a. Yep, yeah, taking 3. Sure. Yeah, we're just gonna play this guy. It blocks well. It's pretty good. Give that 3 1 float. What, what did he give flying to? Oh, this guy? Um. I don't think I care about this. Like, I think we just want to actually survive. Oh, grasp in the, in the trash. Grasp, grasp in the trash. Yeah, I'm just taking two here. Money. Oh, okay. Oh, the the ca, ca, con condler tron. <laughs> I don't know who that is. That's weird. Is this a post combat gale swooper? That's fascinating. Jason, thank you so much for for the for the support, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Um, I'm gonna play this. Okay. Okay, this is a lot of lands. I don't know if you guys are aware of the land situation here. It's not good. Not good. Prismite? Sure. Yep, and that's how we lost. That was pretty cool. Yep. Well, I guess we can see what happens. Fucking amazing. We've drawn 11 lands. Um, yeah, that's cool. That's amazing. Got excited about tacos, buddy. You and me both. You and me both. I kind of want this other lot. I mean, our deck should not have that happen to it. 
classic. Did I hear someone say tacos? No, I don't think so. Guy's gonna talk about torches again. That's all he does. Is just torches, torches. Y'all yeah, keep this. How many tutelage do you think you need in the deck to for it to actually be decent? I don't actually know. It's weird. Well, you're fashionably late to the party. Oh, you got, if you got feet, nah, I guess I'm dying anyway, right? Sure. I'll block here. You can use your feet of resistance or whatever. We're just trading. Now we want to, now we want a fourth land because we have two good four drops in our hand. Oh, we're doing it. This is the dream come to life. Uh, no blocks. I don't know what you could have had there, but I'm also not willing to deal with it, so. Nice. Okay. We're just going to play Tide Skimmer because next turn we got two flyers, and that's pretty decent. Sure. <sighs> well, that's a thing, all right. Oh, that's a thing. That's a thing. Yeah, Basri's Acolyte feels uncommon. I think I'm just taking these out. They're just trash. They're just trash! So I guess we take three here, but then, like... You don't have a blocker, so... You know. Get that prowess, Triggs. Uh, get rid of white. Tavern Swindler. That seems great for us. I sent you a Facebook message, but we... <laughs> oh, good. Gain six. That's nice. I'm 
six, seven, eight. This is eight damage. We take four. Yeah, this is just how it has to be. Alpha, I'll, I'll check. Uh, I'll check in a little bit. All right, so everything is lethal here, which means we're probably just gonna lose. Yep. Now you have infinite blockers. Sounds good. I mean, at worst, this card loots, right? Like... Oh, well, all you guys have float, so... They have to triple block here, which is nice. Yep. Uh-huh. Okay. No. Change your mind. Okay. Let's go to damage. Alright, I have two lethal creatures. They have a bird. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. Nine lands. This is where they find a removal spell or another Gale Swooper. Got him. See again, as we have constantly done, I just want to take out the friggin' tutelages. Tutelage gone. Lofty comes in. I kind of like just spine Megalodon. Is that weird? 4, 6 versus 5, 7. Maybe draw a card, you may tap a creature. I actually don't hate the wall. I don't think it's terrible. I think we have a bunch of options, though. Like Daybreak Charger is better now. Unsubstantiate is fine. How many creatures do we have? We only have 13 creatures, though. I don't think we want the wall. And this is one of them, so... I think we do just want something bigger like a Kraken. I would even I would even be considered to play the Megalodon too. I just don't think we're winning games with tutelage. I'm I'm just I can't keep chasing the dream, you know. This is just a sensor right now, but... What a little cutie. Six drop, huh? Oh, I like that. I like countering whatever important spell they may play here for three. Yeah. And then we can play Larsenist. We can Fetters their blocker. I don't know. I just want to get in there with Larsenist like 20 times. Is that too much to ask?
I mean, I think this is a fine trade, especially if we get to swift response to this guy. And if they want to save this, then we're getting rid of the better card anyway, so it's fine. But I kind of want to draw something to play here. <laughs> like a Falconer. That's fine. A lot of things are happening right now. This guy's gonna die though. You're gonna die, Bobby. A turn too late, but that's okay. Valkaner Adept is on his way. I don't think we're attacking here. We're not going to draw a card, so. Hmm. They have one card in hand? Wow. I bet you wish that Kraken was a tutelage. I definitely don't. One more land and that thing's going to be taking over this game in a way tutelage only wishes it could. Uh, no blocks. I'm not going to block with either of my, my choice uncommons here. Val Kilmer Addict is on his way? What does that mean? I'm trying to think of what I said that could have even sounded like that. I'm getting rid of this dog and this makeshift battalion. So now they have to decide who they're gonna who they're gonna give it to. And then we're gonna fetters this guy. Or actually we can fetters the the chorister. Actually, this might work. It did not. I wasn't sure if both these triggers are going to stack. I don't think it. Oh wow, no blocks whatsoever. So if they if they want to attack with this, like we got Legion's Judgment for the future, and Talarian Kraken actually blocks this guy pretty well, but I'm pretty sure they're just gonna pump it, and that's their turn, which is fine with me.
So they have one card. If they get rid of this guy, they also can't pump. Oh, what up, big truffs? Um, who are we tapping down? Tap down that truffs. Tr 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 truffs. You can stay home, actually. I don't know why they've given me this many birds. Why do these birds not get in there? What? Oh my god. I clicked on one, it probably moved it to an attacking position. And then I clicked on the other one and it probably unclicked it. Oh, you stupid bird scumbag. We can work it back night. Uh, auto pay and tap tap truffs again. How much flyers we got? We could play. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We just make this guy float, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They have no flyers. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't want to do that. God damn it. Alright, whatever. Untap. It doesn't matter because he's already lost the game. We're very good at this format, I think. So what do they got? They got a bunch of little, little dirtles. Crab actually seems pretty decent here, comically enough. Mm. Two threes are nice. Do we have any two twos that we don't care about? Maybe we take out one Larcenist. I feel so special when Frank reads my chats. Buddy, it's the least I can do. I mean, I don't think I read one previously. I don't remember the last time you said something. So that's a weird comment to just say out of the blue, right? But, uh... 2x! Have a good night, buddy. Um, let's just bring it unsubstantiate. I think bouncing one of their guys, like... Seems pretty good. Especially if they're, like, putting counters on it or making... The, making it get a, a million things. I'll keep it. I'm not impressed with this hand, but... I mean, I got all the lands I need, and... You know. Where are the turtles? I'm actually just gonna pass here. I don't need Keen Glide Master out. I'm not gonna block this guy. And I'd much rather Lofty Denial a three drop. Oh. Well then. Falconer Adept and then turn five we can go play uh Glidey boy. Oh, is that the thing that moon tanks? Nate doesn't do anything. No attacks. That don't impress me much. Uh, 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 sure, yeah. Got the lands, but do you got the touch? I don't. 
No blocks. One, two, three, four. This is goes up to four. Give me them free birds. Uh-oh, they got Cloyster online. Uh, no, they don't. They just decided to play a Grey Malkin instead. No block. <laughs> Actually, cancel that. So we can tap a thing. And we can kill something? That's pretty cool. So what is how much does that cost? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. I do kinda wanna get in there with the Valkyrie though. What do I do then? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we're good night for night. So next turn we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana, which means we can go like five, one, two, three, four, five, and then that's it. Val Kilmeradic doing work making birds. It's true. It's a true story. Two, three. What does this guy do? Nothing I care about. Yeah, we're gonna play that in this next turn. All right, I use my timeout. I have no timeouts left. I have lots of options here. It's a lot of things happening. I'm getting scared. Yeah, I think we're just gonna pass here. Attack with bird. That's a sorcery? Mistakes were made. Wow, that was terrible. That would have changed the entire game had we just done it last turn instead. got a 5-5, five, five, so 2-3, two, 2-3, three, 2-2. Two, three, two. Oh, God damn it. Oh, wow. That was terrible. And he's got lifelink, huh? Alright. Alright. What are we chumping with? Oh, boy. I guess the bird. Wow. That was just the worst. That was probably game... What? They gotta have feet, right? Otherwise, why would you play this? It's fucking amazing. Then double the number of 1 1 counters on that dude, sure. You got it. I'm just gonna. Eh. Oh, we don't control the flyer anymore, so we actually can't tap anything. Yeah, that was actually terrible. Wow. That was. Wow.
more like Scummio. <laughs> Mulligan. Yeah, we'll keep this. Three, four drops and four lands. Perfect. What can you ask? What more could you want? Guess we'll put an island back. I think it's fine at Sorcerer. I just didn't realize. I just would have done it on my turn. Saved like a thousand damage. This is where we don't have fourth land, guys. Oh, I lied. Just kidding. Here comes Truffle Snout. Interesting. Nah. That's a weird play. I don't know if there's like a one mana card that... That was a terrible use of a Bastard Kit. Bold attack. What are these attacks, man? These are very strange. These guys have lifelink, right? Okay, well. Strange. I mean, we're taking four again, but I think we can afford it. I'm just going to play bird here. People are strange when you're a bird man and faces look ugly when you're alone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there should be an are you okay emote. Oh, okay. Well, it's all making sense now. Now I'm scared of feet. Boom, 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 Yep, 
that's fucking terrible. There's no way to avoid this. Like, as long as if we let them declare themselves as an attacker. It's so fucking stupid. If we let them declare it as an attacker, like, it's too late that they could just go feet for blue, and we don't have a response anyway, so. It's really annoying. Yeah. Literally killed us with a fucking gray Malkin. Sweet. Phil, you're right, I never did get back to you about that. That is a good, that is a valid point you're making here, my dude. I doubt they're blocking. I kind of just want to keep up Lofty Denial here. Because even if we don't uh, lofty here, yeah, that's fine. Can't counter that anyway. White sure is a bottleneck here, isn't it? What up, Spider View? Phil, look up BCW comic boxes. They're uh, they're what I use. They're plastic boxes that you assemble and you can store comics in them. I 
I actually think Sanctum of Stonefangs is actually one of the few uh, Sanctum, one of the few shrines that's pretty decent without anything else to go with it. For obvious reasons that you see currently. Can I get a frantic inventory number two? That would be great. That is a fat boy. More lands. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to kill that dude now. Because we don't want to face fetters it because then the ability is still just sitting on the board, so. Oh yeah, that's the stuff thing. Yeah. <coughs> I hate cardboard boxes for things like that because they just wear over time and I just have to replace them eventually anyway. So. Now it's my turn for a big fat Kraken. Okay, that's pretty good. You get to sacrifice your your sappy boy. It's a solid value. I mean, Jesus Christ, what does this do? At the beginning of a pre-comment main phase, we draw X cards. Jesus. Um, yeah, auto pay. Who are we tapping down? Probably this idiot, right? So we can go face fetters on the flyer. Get in there with you. You. And that's fine. And then we can tap this guy. Actually. I mean, they're doing like two, two a turn and gaining two a turn now, which is super friggin' annoying. Yep, that's gonna be impossible to beat. Just a bunch of dirtles to get in my way while you slowly drain me over the next turns. Okay. Um, okay. Tap down this guy. Man, I don't think... I think we need some lifelink. Basri's Acolyte would be fantastic here. And they get to draw 
two cards every turn. Man, this might be a tutelage matchup where we can just mill them out. Faces come out of the rain. Sounds good. How do I stop it at the beginning of combat? Yep, that's unfortunate. <sighs> yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Yep, that was a great draw from them. Yeah, their deck seems really good. No attacks whatsoever, huh? Hmm. Fucking Christ, are you serious? That's not bad. Oh, they still have black mana up. Yeah, that's terrible. I didn't think they had black mana. Oh, they're going to kill our Kraken. Yep, that's pretty bad. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. This is... Fucking bullshit. <sighs> Bring in the mutt. What are the odds we get two tutelages and this is just... It's just the tech we need. Uh, no, because it's not it's not targeted. Oh, protection though. I th I'm pretty sure it's life loss. So I'd, I would I I would imagine not. Yeah, it's it's life loss. So no. Man, I thought this deck was good. Not playing mill, no. It's not good. It's just never good. Oh, I like uh, Light Larva Larceness and Arousing Reed should be very, very good.
Well, let's see if we can hit a third land. Nicely done. This guy costs one? Oh, that's nice. Might be able to play both the next turn if we hit a land, but I i mean, if we hit a land, we might just discard it. <coughs> but then again, we could just Rousing Reed and hit two lands. So then we can hit three lands total, discard one of them, play one of them, and still have another land. Oh, you got it. Oh, yeah, that's what we were hoping for here. What are we discarding? Megalodon? I think it is Pegasus. Like, we can cast it here, but I don't think I care about it enough. I think it's Megalodon. It's a seven mana card. Yeah, this is, this is nice. So next time we can play Enforcer and still keep up Swift Response. Which is a, which is an instant, right? Okay, just checking. Oh yeah, we'll probably face better as this guy. <laughs> This is it. This is right here. This is, this is what you want to be. You want to live that dream. They're at nine. Um. Seems fine. Lands and spells. Who saw that coming? Well, that's, that's rude. That's a rude thing to do. Where's my dog? Oh, that just gets nothing. That's just a dude. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Any chance to try another mutate deck? I mean, I wouldn't mind doing that at all. I had a good time playing it. I don't know how much different it could be, though, is the thing. See if we can get our crush on. Oh, I like a rousing reed. I think lofty denial and a rousing reed is pretty decent. I mean, assuming we draw a creature to put it on. 
I need help. My daughter fell asleep with me and my leg lost all feelings, so I can't move. Well, that's... that's no good. I don't need this out, but if they want to play, like... Stupid thing. Oh boy. I mean, I'm still just going to keep denial up, and next turn we get even better denial if they don't cast anything we care about. Draft? Well, unless we're playing Concordia, Phoenix, Pegasus, Capture Sphere, and Fetid Imp in any constructed format, then, then yes. Yeah, you can have that one. Unfortunately, this guy's not blocking either of these in any sort of efficient manner, so. However, Rousing Reed. Then we're talking. No blocks. I'll take four. You play Odd Thing. Well, my opponent's playing Fetid Imp and Death Bloom Thalid, so. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about that. Okay, now we're talking. Could be in bronze. Wow. Okay. Now you're just insulting me. Oh man, I wish I didn't have to waste that on there, but uh, I'm pretty sure we're not winning this match. I just feel like we we're a little too far behind. Now we got a game, boys. 5-7 Hexproof? Oh shit, yeah. Megalodon. Dude. Fucking love Megalodons. They're all you ever want. <laughs> 2 1. Not too bad. Check out manatraders.com. They have an amazing subscription service. You can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. Cool stuff, Inc. every Wednesday. And, uh,. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate you.